Now I'm going to show you how you add a calendar from Soko, or the university's web client, into Thunderbird. As you can see now in Thunderbird we only have this uh, this first calendar here, which for some reason is called Home or Hema, but that's not the one we're going to use. We're going to use the one here in Soko and in the in the calendar and up here is the calendars tab and you right click on the calendar you want to add to Thunderbird in this example I'm going to use the personal calendar and I right click on it and go here to properties and to the tab called links to this calendar and this this one that we're looking for under authenticated user access and it's the cal dev URL and we right click on that and we copy this link address so basically we want the the address to this link we want that in Thunderbird I can just cancel here and then I go back to Thunderbird and next I click here and I can add here a new calendar I can also go to file new and calendar and I click here on the on the network click on next and it's the CalDAV calendar that we're importing. And then we just paste the link that we just copied before and click on Next. And here we can pick a name for it. And it's usually good to have the same name in Thunderbird as you have on, in Soko. And here you can uh, choose a color for it. And we want alarms to be shown. And then we just click on Next. And then it has been created. Click on Finish and here you can see the meetings and you can actually use if I want to make a new meeting here the 18th I'll just name it test and location and we want it to be on personal calendar and then we just click here on save and close and then when I go back here to web calendar or the Soko calendar uh, click here on reload and here we can see that I have the new event here, this test event. And then I can click on it here and I can change it both here in Sogo as I can change it in, in Thunderbird. So it so it works both ways so it syncs with each other.